To write the formula for magnesium hydroxide, we go to the periodic table and we find magnesium. This element symbol for magnesium is Mg. In hydroxide, that's one you want to memorize. This is a polyatomic ion. When we look it up in the table of common polyatomic ions, we see it's OH and it has a charge of one minus. Magnesium, that's a metal, and then OH, the hydroxide, that's a group of nonmetals. Since we have this metal and these nonmetals, this is an ionic compound, and then we need to take the charge into account when we write the formula for magnesium hydroxide. Magnesium on the periodic table is in group two, so it has a two plus ionic charge. We said the hydroxide, the whole thing, has a one minus charge. And these need to add up to zero to give us a net charge of zero for this to be a neutral compound like magnesium hydroxide. Right now they don't add up, but we can change the subscripts to make that happen. We use something called the crisscross method. We move the one here and the two over here. We don't write one by convention. Let's get rid of the charges. And then we do need to put parentheses around our polyatomic ion, around the hydroxide ion. And that's the formula for magnesium hydroxide. Let's check our work real quick. Magnesium, we said that was two plus, and the hydroxide has a one minus charge. I'll just write the minus there. Two times the one minus, that gives us a two minus. One times the two plus, that gives us a two plus. So this is the correct formula for magnesium hydroxide. Let's clean this up. And there you have it, the formula for magnesium hydroxide, MgOH2. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.